the marine farming industry is the place that's let me experiment. And that's where they say, we've got this problem, we want this problem to be your problem, sort it out. My job is developing the specifications for floating docks, underwater moorings, anchoring systems throughout the world. So the objective of the Marine Flex Unit is to completely replace the damaging chain and metal components that are currently used in the mooring industry. The Marlborough District Council is very aware they engaged NIWA and Cawthron Institute to do significant underwater sonar studies and identified the seabed disturbance from moorings. The engineering plastics that we use are from recycled fishing nets from Italy, are very high grade aerospace plastics. So we're really pleased that we can recycle these types of materials. Freighting, sending it here, assembling it, testing it, and then sending it back to the other side of the world is really challenging. We have over a hundred of them operating in the Marlborough Sounds area. As we speak, Port Marlborough has taken up the system and it's being installed in Shakespeare Bay for local barge operators and also for the infrastructure barges that are coming to do the major port redevelopment. It's world leading. We have been told by the largest chain and anchor shackle manufacturing world that we are going to be very disruptive to the industry and we need to be involved. Last year we provided over 400 elastic marine flex units to anchor the first floating solar power station in Israel. A huge amount of time is spent fixing other people's problems. But you know, that's why we get out of bed in the morning. <laughs>